Hello everyone and welcome to CS Mentor. I am Simone Silvestri. I'm an associate professor in computer science at the Department of Computer Science of the University of Kentucky and I'm also the director of graduate studies. So I decided to start this channel because after many years of advising PhD students and also undergraduate students as they start their career into research, I found myself answering the same questions over and over and over. And so I clearly understand that there are uh, many of you that are interested in the work in academia, work in the research in general, but we do not have a clear understanding of many of the aspects that are involved in uh, this type of work. So that's what this channel is about. It really wants to answer the common questions that students, uh, uh, both undergraduates, graduate, potentially even postdoc, and even potentially maybe some assistant professors that just started their career, won't understand better regarding uh, this type of work. So what are the typical questions that we are going to answer in this channel? So the first, I try to organize them in different categories. And the first category regards publications. So for example, how do you write different sections of a paper? How do you write an abstract? How do you write an introduction? And in all this, I will try to explain not just what, are the, what is the structure of each of these sec uh, sections, but also what are the expectations of the reviewer and also how to make sure that these expectations are met, that not fake expectations are created, etc. Also, you know, when you want to submit your paper, where are we going to submit it? How do you evaluate the quality of a uh, publication venue? What are the uh, instruments that we have available to evaluate uh, publication venues in both conferences and journals, of course? And at the same time, if your advisor assigns you a review to do, then how do you do that? Like, how do you go about that? How do you write the review? What are the different sections? What does it mean to review for a conference versus reviewing for a journal? And what are the different outcomes of a conference versus a journal, etc.? I will also cover from some professional advices. So based on your targets and long-term long -term objectives, how do you build your CV? How do you discuss with your advisor about building your CV in that direction? Also, you know, do you think, are you ready to graduate? And if you are ready to graduate, should you do a postdoc? Do you want to be a professor afterwards? What are the best ways of accomplishing what your job, what your objective and goals are? And I will also go over some topics about student life, such as, for example, how to discuss with your advisor and what are the important discussions that you need to have and when during your PhD career, you should have these discussions. Uh, how do you manage your time? How much really you should work in order to make sure that you are making sufficient progress towards your graduation? And also what some basic questions that maybe are useful to uh, uh, prospective graduate students, such as, for example, undergraduate students uh, that want to do a graduate study and do not, for example, know the difference between a teaching assistantship, a research assistantship, etc. And also some other general questions, for example, how, what are the bibliometric indices and how to evaluate the quality of academic productivity? And uh, you know, how do we prepare for a presentation for a conference, uh, depending on the length, depending on the venue, depending on the uh, target audience, uh, all this should affect the type of presentation that, that you prepare. And also, of course, some good practices in order to make the most effective uh, use of the time that you have available to present. And also some uh, more uh, higher level question about, for example, how the funding mechanism work and, you know, how do professors get money and where uh, how this money are awarded, how they can spend them, and you know, if you are supported as a research assistant, how long this is going to last, depending on how much time the professor will have the money, uh, etc. So, of course, all these questions are going to be answered with a perspective of computer science students and computer engineering students. Uh, but I think that many of these comments are going to be useful of students in engineering in general, and potentially even above the context. Of, uh, of the limits of engineering and in general graduate students in all disciplines. But of course, my focus is gonna be on my expertise in computer science and computer engineering as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will uh, follow my channel and find this useful for your career. Thank you.